Okay, so in the last video we did um um we 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 did a uh, quite simple um uh, feature drawing on SW maps as an introduction and um I had promised you guys on uh, uh showing you how you can export this data into different formats. Um, this can be particularly um, important when you want to say um, work with this data on QGIS. Maybe as a survey you want to do some statistical uh, data analytics. Maybe you want to add some more. Um, maybe you want to clean up your data and to move things around. You want to maybe even do um, on a, a card map. Uh, uh, maybe draft a map. On AutoCAD based on your data it's all um, possible so you just have to export your data in uh, uh, in the form that you need it uh, to work on it for example for me I use uh, KMZ a lot uh, which I then uh, which I then load up on Google Maps or, so, or rather Google App so that I can um, uh, maybe do quicker uh, view of uh, my data and whatever little that I need to do in there. You can also do um, an export on, uh, on, a, on a shape files if you are good at shape files or if you like using shape files which is uh, much lighter than kmz you can also do that so let me stop rambling and uh, do this um show you how to do this so uh, you had the layers there and um, now you want to export the data so here we go just uh, give me one second okay so if you want to export you you're, you're going to have to I tap on this uh, button on the top left it's actually um it uh, it looks like a logo of a sw map so it's also a button if you tap on it there's a menu that comes up so you can go there and uh, you can uh, you can see there are several other uh, options some of them i can uh, show you later there's the projects option project attributes layers and all that which you had already worked on there's the bluetooth gps if you have an external um, uh, device with bluetooth that's uh, uh, really good um, you can actually use this app alongside um, uh, gns uh, g okay um the special um, devices that you can use this with if you are a surveyor which is a uh, uh, out of this scope so surveyors so you know what i mean the geospatial um geospatial engineers you know what i mean so going to export right there we have um you can tap that button and you can see you can export the whole project you can also export as a the data as kmz maybe export the ship file uh, GS, GeoJSON, um, CSV, Spreadsheet, or uh, the other one, GPKG. So for me, I like using these two, Shapefile and KMZ. So we are going. We are first going to export as a KMZ. That will give you another menu to uh, choose exactly what you want to export. So in this case, I'm exporting the uh, photo points. And the photo points are... Um, uh, these are the attributes if I were to have uh, added attributes as photos it could also export all that alongside the data export the tracks and uh, the, all the layers um, just as a side note for the tracks um, this can be done on this end if say you are doing uh, data collection maybe while on a road maybe um taking data of uh, whatever it is you may be doing maybe um distances uh, 
uh, but you are doing it along uh, while driving. These are some of the things you could do. Maybe record a feature or record a track. Uh, here you can set up all the attributes you want and the settings for that track or uh, feature. That I think I will do on another um, video. Uh, this one needs um this one needs me moving around so i think i'll do that on another video so let's just export as a kmz then you hit export and it may not show anything so actually it has exported this on its uh on its uh, uh directory so if you want to navigate to the directory where sw maps uh, uh files are uh, stored on your android phone you will get it there so we can actually do that so maybe go to um, my apps let me see where is that uh, i can go to files and then navigate to my um external card so right there, browse, SD card, and then I'm not sure if it's not, okay, let's see if it's here, export, yeah, um, actually, no, it's not here, this one is, uh, this is data from, um, let's see, Okay, okay, so export here. Here we have um, the current data. The other one was um, data I did uh, a while back. So this is the data I have right now. And um, yeah, you can say copy this and share it on a, a platform or connect a USB cable, get the data, whichever way you want, you can have it, but it's there. We can also try um, exporting this data as shapefile. So those are the um, uh, things that are going to be exported. So export, it's already exported. So going back, establish, we can go to maps and there you go, shapefile. No, where is it? Just a moment. Just a moment. Export. Ah, yeah. So it um it's a, it export it exports the shape file as a zip. Actually, um uh in the past it used to export every little file every um uh, individual file for shape file. Or oh, those guys who know how shape files work, they um they are uh, a number of files which uh, you need to open the whole thing so i think they updated the app to uh, export the whole um, zip file containing all the files so if i were to open say this file you can see um you have the uh, status hp um uh, the, the mdus the roads all of them are right there so yeah cool um what else let me see um let's go back to the map um export to csv uh actually yeah okay let's export to csv and then go going back uh, to the export file there you have the csv zip file so you can also actually open this on a word document to just view the attributes let me see let, let's extract and see so now we have a new folder with the csv let's see if it can no can't open i don't have the app to open so let me see if i can download that app real quick wps like using WPS Office, um, these kinds of things. Oh no, um, WPS, yeah.
so as it downloads um we can go and uh, check some things out like um let me see continue um that was just uh, the rom refreshing um let me see yeah okay there's also a compass feature that shows if your phone has um, um, uh, a compass um, hardware enabled if it uh, if it it is um, compass hardware enabled you can have it show the compass direction so that's the note uh, showing we also have so let me show you how you can add an attribute for photo photos maybe say you want to take photos for each um building you could also do that so let's see layers on sdg you can add another one called called photos i think it's so many things here you can you see you can also add even audio or even video but um the data the data can be a little bit too um heavy for the device to manage so i would advise for you to use photos only where necessary so um so that the data does not take too much time to load but uh, it's possible so you can add that and um yeah so for example if i came to this one you can actually see there's a new there's a new um uh, attribute there for photos whereby you can take photos for um the the building i could do that right now but um yeah just as an example then go back i think i actually take photo and that will be uh the photo i have my phone lying on the on the table so don't worry that's actually the photo it took so then save that up and you're good oh uh, let's see if um the thing has stalled oh it's a, it's a heavy tool okay so i'm not going to take uh, to bore you with the details but um just know that the data that uh, exp that is exported whatever data that is exported that data you can uh, use it for other stuff i'm actually thinking of uh, showing you how you can um, uh, use the such data to to make maps for example um on autocad maybe cleaning up data or taking statistical um uh, statistical making uh, analytical uh, 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 things for lack of a better word um you can do a lot with your data actually so um that is uh, uh something that uh, is in my mind maybe you can do that soon so for now i think that's all uh, you can see sw maps is uh, quite a powerful tool uh, using as a surveyor and uh, having just your phone uh, for using uh, simple stuff like uh, taking uh, data and uh, we, uh, on the field with your android phone so it's a really good um, tool so until next time um, I guess this is the end of this video. Thanks.